G'day fellow YouTubers. Well, today we're going to make a chat application. It's an application. Um, you need a. You don't really need, but I recommend having a knowledge of PHP, SQL, and most probably HTML or XHTML. So and CSS if you want to style. So, but the bare minimum than that. Um, software we're using is Notepad++ plus 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 um, Exam and uh, Google Chrome. So um, Notepad++ plus plus is this. That is Google Chrome, and the web server, which is a local one, is Exam as you can see there. So that's the software we're using. Um, so let's go into the file structure. So the root directory root, root directory we're going to have an includes folder such as so and index.php. In the includes folder we're going to have another two subfolders subdirectories, one called database and one called functions, a file called core.inc.php. In database we're going to have a file called connect.db.php. Functions we're going to have one called chat.func.php. So that's basically the roots or the directory structure structure we're going to have. So let's get to making that. So we're going to create a new folder in the root directory called includes. Within that folder, we're going to create another folder called database. Another folder called functions. And a file called core.inc.php. In the database folder, we're going to create a file called connect.db.php. Go back to directory. In the function, we're going to create a new file called chat.func.php. Like so. So there are basically all the files we need except the index, which I'll make right here. So index.php. Okay, so that's basically everything made so so we're making a chat application it's pretty basic but it's worthwhile looking at it's been nice so okay we'll start off the core.inc and just do all this are we going to require um, include because this is going to be included into the index PHP includes database connect or slash connect dot db dot php that's going to connect, include this file so if we go like so we can now start our database setup so first of all we're going to do our variable so db host so database host is equal to local host for me db user is equal to root db password is equal to nothing and db db oh d double d db name is equal to chat okay so basically this is your where your server is, so since mine's localhost because it's on the same machine as the web server, it's going to be localhost. Root is a default username for exam. You can create other users but I just use a default and I've got no password. And the database name which I have created is chat. Okay, so um, next we're going to start off with making a connection variable just to hold the connection basically. So MySQL connect and it takes, well, the, it takes three Parameters. Um, db host, db user, and db pass are the 
things in the past into that thing. And the next one's going to be called database. Don't have to get these in variables. I just do it just so I can reference them. I don't need to reference them. Um, select db, and basically you put the db name here and reference. Now this isn't required. This last one. It basically saying use this connection that was established here. So that's all it's basic to make to select that DB. So you can have two servers. So so I like doing a bit more events. So I'm going to put an if statement here at the end, close it, and echo connected to database server dot 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 line break. And next, so we just have home, we'll tab me, and put this in if statement as well. And if that does return true, because basically, if this is able to establish a connection, it returns a true value. Same if here, same here. If it's able to connect, select the deep database, it returns returns a true value. So we can just go database has been selected dot 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 we are control save now else so basically if there's no database so the database doesn't exist we're just going to echo out database was not found dot and let's put a line break in there and down here to go back up actually and go else we're going to say echo unable to connect to my SQL just for my SQL server and just put a line break there so then you look confused later. So that's basically the chat, the uh, long the chat, the connect, the database setup file. Um, next one we need to do is index. So we're just going to include this up the top. So we're just going to go require. I like using require. It's good. Uh, so includes slash core dot dot php you can include these straight into this but this future reference is always good here because you can always reference that file into further projects if you ever need to so that's the index so if we were to run that now we get cancel the database and database has been selected now if I were to go to Local host. And I can type that up. PHP admin. If we were to go here and just go click on the chat operations, drop database, okay. And F5 will say database isn't found. So let's go back and I should leave that for now. So the next file we want to create is the chat dot functions. So the, fun, the function file. So basically, we're going to create a function called a get. There you get message. And another function. This function function called send message. Okay, so the send message is going to have two variables. We're going to have a sender variable and our message variable. So that's basically that. We'll get back into that into the next tutorial. Um, so that's basically the setup. We've got we've established that it's working. Everything's included properly, hopefully. So to the next tutorial. Have a good look at this and get up to the stage and we should be fine to take off in the next step. Thanks for watching.